Hey everybody, it's the Gym Fairy here. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be picking a crystal slash stone. And underneath each crystal is going to be a message for you. Actually two messages because I want to see, you know, be extra. So instead of just one message, you get two messages. And I will be reading from the books as well. We have the Moonology deck. And then we have the Starseed Oracle. I will put the information in the description box for you, okay? And if you like this, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, okay? I would really appreciate it. All right, so we have the Black Tourmaline, okay? All right, for A. And then we have the Lapis Lazuli for B. Then we have the Golden Healer, okay, for C. A, B, C, one, two, three, same thing, right? Okay, so for the black tourmaline, tourmaline, we have what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Waning moon. Okay, so I'm going to read from the book. What do you need to release? So you could just be needing to release something, um, looking at things that you have around your home, Throwing out old things that no longer serve you, stuff that you can't, you know, use anymore, the things that you're not really interested in, in anymore, because we do change our minds. We do. Um, life is just always changing. So definitely. All right, let's get into it. The waning moon points to what's fit, falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. No matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card, it's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or worse, and it's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and winter of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you let something go and stop trying so hard. So it's saying it's safe to let go and move on. It could also mean move forward with as little resistance as possible. This is not the time to start new projects. Releasing emotional baggage is recommended now. Say sorry to someone. Do energetic work such as meditation or yoga. And soon you will see what lies ahead. And then we also have the star keeper. Okay. I'm trying to get it in the camera. Okay, the star keeper. I like this card. All right, so let's see what this deck says about the Star Keeper. Okay, it says, Cosmic Ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. You're an ancient keeper of the stars, here to anchor and seed your light in your unique way. You've likely been incarnating on Earth for some time, dedicated to an era of awakening and bringing about a long-awaited shift in the planet's evolution. We're at a tipping point now. The survival of Earth and all its species is coming to a head. The more grounded you remain during this transitional period, the more helpful you'll be. The more you tend to the flames of your own heart, the more love you'll anchor into this planet. The wisdom of the stars is, pr is imprinted in your soul. The more so fragment, fragment, ah, what the heck? Mercury retrograde, y'all. All right. The more so fragments you call home, the more this wisdom is seated here. You may be called to be in different places in the world to anchor this light, perhaps by taking a trip or living in a certain location. You may also find yourself experiencing awakening symptoms. The more grounded you remain, the more stable Earth's energy will become and the less reactive humanity will be. You're here for, for a double mission, to grow as an individual and as part of a larger collective that's bringing about a shift in frequency. Trust that you can be in the world, but not of it, and lead a truly glorious life. And then it also says, well, I know you can't place the card on your heart right now, but you could just imagine it being there. It says, place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. I acknowledge that I am a star keeper. I choose to anchor my light and stay as grounded as possible. All right, so that was the message for the Black Tourmaline, which was message A or message one. Then you have the Lapis Lazuli. Let's see what that's talking about. It's time to take action, okay? 
let's see. And then it says new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. I'm looking forward. Okay. So, it says here, the flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. And then it says, don't even think about giving up. Um, additional meanings for this card says, do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan. A new male is coming into your life. All right, so that is what the Moonology deck has to say. Now let's see what the next card says. It says, loosen your grip, okay? And loosen your grip, it says, coping mechanisms, density, action, let God in. All right, so just looking at the card, it looks like it's two versions of somebody. I know it's probably nothing to do with that, but I read intuitively. Even though this is not an intuitive reading right now, I'm just giving you guys what the books say. But I see two different versions of someone. One looking kind of out of it. And one 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 kind of like going with the flow, like, all right, whatever it is, what it is, I'm just going to lay here with me fall. The other one is looking scared, like, oh my gosh, I'm falling. The other one is like, oh, I'm just falling. Like, so I don't know, maybe it could be something that you're trying to make a decision about and you're undecided um, and it's like going with the flow. Okay, but anyway, that has nothing to do with, it's something to do with it, but that's not what the card is saying. So let me see what it says in the book, okay? That could be a message for somebody. Loosen your grip. All right. So the book says, we're cyclic beings. And Mother Earth teaches us how to be human every day with the coming and going of the tides and the seasons. If you're clinging to anything, you're resisting the natural flow of who you are. The things we cling to are so often chose, I mean, are so often those we most need to let go of. The food, the substances, the relationship, the job, the people pleasing. The things we cling to often cover up our most vulnerable space, the part we're most afraid to leave empty. The part we guard and don't let grace into. But by keeping that space covered with something that doesn't serve us or clinging to it for fear of it not staying of its own accord, we prevent ourselves from receiving the signs that will. A Course in Miracles tells us, whatever we leave empty, grace will fill. And the Buddha said, you can only lose what you cling to. Indeed, both are true. If this card appears, you're being called to find the courage to loosen your grip and give up control. The release your cope to release your coping mechanisms and leave space for grace and God to enter. To surrender all that feels dense to the divine. Loosening your grip doesn't mean that way you're clinging. Sorry. Loosening your grip doesn't mean that what you're clinging to will go away. It may or it might stay. But you can be sure that what is for you will find you. And you'll, and you'll breathe easier knowing that you've shifted from relying on your own strength to surrendering to the grace of life. And it says... What are you clinging to for fear of nothing coming to take its place? Hmm. All right. That was the message for the Lapis Lazuli Crystal Stone. All right. And let's see what the Golden Healer has to say. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon and eclipse. I mean, sorry. Full moon eclipse. Wow. This may be retrograde. It's really getting to me, y'all. You know, I'm a Gemini, so... Mercury is my planet, so it's going to mess with me the most, I guess, right? Conclusions are within reach. This is a great card. Okay, so full moon eclipse. And just like that, a door slams shut. If you've pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're acting about to reach a peak or has just, 
wow why did i read it so backwards like that wait if you pull this card it suggests that the situation you're asking about to reach a peak why am i reading it like this y'all don't mind me i'll read it one more time i'm skipping a whole word <laughs> if you pull this card it suggests that the situation you're asking is about to reach a peak or has just done so and things are now out of your hands what you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve so allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself if you're letting go of someone or something know that it's the right time as hard as it might be forgiving someone for what they did could be um the key to resolving this situation in a positive way it doesn't make right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. And it says, that which is meant for me will not pass me by. Also, it says additional meanings is doors which slam shut now will reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma. Meditation, pranayama, and yoga nidra are all recommended now. I could be saying these things wrong. Please don't, um, you know quote me on these things that i'm saying seed control and let events unfold okay that was the moon message analogy message now the star seed oracle says the seven star sisters you guys see this card is really pretty birthing creations tapestry of life expression okay so the seven star sisters all right there are new creations that want to be born, beauty that's yearning to be woven, new conscience, consciousness that's longing to be breathed. <laughs> Why I can't read, y'all? Oh my goodness. New consciousness that's longing to be breathed into life. If you draw this card, you're being called to surrender to these creations, to usher in a new era of consciousness and do your bit in weaving the web of life. This is the card of the artist and the midwife. You're being called to ponder questions. What wants to be birthed through you? What new creations are whispering in your air? What beauty are you being called to make? Creativity and intuition come from the same sacred place. They occur when we find ourselves flowing with the rest of life. Earth is renowned as a planet of manifestation and creativity and yet so many of us have forgotten how to create. Somewhere along the way, we stopped seeing ourselves as artists, as creatives, as poets, yet to be human is to be creative. Creativity is part of your true nature. Perhaps you're being called to surrender to a creative project, such as a new business or a book, or perhaps you're being called to weave beauty in your home or in the way you cook. Regardless of the end result, you're being called to express yourself through your creativity, to surrender to the creative projects that both scare and excite you, mm. to find a way to weave beauty back into everyday life. For where there's creativity, spirit and soul are present. And the world needs those qualities more now than ever before. And it says at the bottom, what new creations are you being called to birth? Hmm. I like this reading, y'all. If you like this, Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I really do appreciate all of the love. I love reading your comments as well. If you already have subscribed, thank you for returning and watching this video. If you're a newbie, because I'm a newbie, but if you're a newbie too, thank you. <laughs> I'm extra. Ah, thank you so much again. Um, also, if you're interested in crystal stones and crystal jewelry and all that good stuff, check out my website the link will be in the description box below and if you have any ideas of how you want me to do readings please also comment that i'm really open to doing like readings for you guys any type of readings you guys want i'm here for it all right love you guys bye